Hi everyone, it's me, Spring the Fiber Enthusiast, and welcome to the channel. I want to welcome each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. And if you want to see what I've been up to this past week, stick around and I'll tell you. Hi everyone, it's me, Spring, coming to you from the craft studio. If you were at the Triple Threat Thursday, this past Thursday night, we were out in one of my fields and we just spun yarn live out, out in the just wide open spaces. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. I do it I've done it occasionally. Like I think one other time I took y'all out and this was quite some time ago, just took y'all out and we hung out in the field and I spun yarn out there instead of here in the craft room. Um, I took my little Nano, hooked it up to the backup battery charger for like a cell phone because um, these are very, very portable. And it's nice to be able to go out and just sit there and spin. So, yeah, that's what I spun. I did bamboo, all bamboo on the Nano while I was out there. Now, mainly this past week has been a disconnect week for myself. Um, a few days back, my husband and I took the side-by-side, -side, which is... Our side-by-side -side is meant for the farm. It has a dump bed on it. It's got a windshield. It's got a roof. It's got a windshield wiper. Um, it can have four seats or just the front bench seat. Uh, it, it's mainly for the farm. And for when people visit us, we can put the seats up and take them around on the farm. But we occasionally take it out and ride some of the trails. Now here in West Virginia, we have the Hatfield and McCoy trails. Some of that trail system runs right over the top of the mountain that we live on top of. So we can pick up the trails and ride the trails really close to the house. These trails, however, that we were on were not those. And we went out to what's called Flag Rock. That was one heck of a ride. Let me tell you, I will insert a couple of pictures from the day and maybe a little video clip of some of the ride. What I was able to record was mainly uh, either it was too hairy for me to be in the side by side. So I walked way up and recorded my husband coming up the trail. And at one point my camera dropped because it was not looking like really good. But um, <laughs> the other parts of the trail that I was able to record, I can insert a little bit of footage. So I hope you enjoy.
Okay, so with that being said, the only time I had signal all day was when I was all the way up on top of the mountain by the flag. Now we had to, you know, um, hike up to that point. You couldn't just drive to it. You could drive and get pretty close, but the rest of the way was um, hiking up rock and roots and all kinds of stuff like that. And then actually taking a rope and pulling yourself up to get up on top. Now, when you're up there and you're looking at the flagpole, our, the top of our mountain is only two ridges over. So we literally can see our mountain from where we were up there by the flagpole. So it's not that far away. It's about 20 minutes as bird flies. It's probably five. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that was that. And then the next day I drove all the way up to get my friend Rachel and back. That's a four hour round trip. Then we had to add some time because we had a couple cabinets to go get for here in the craft room. One being that corner cabinet, you can't hardly see it because I got Nikki the mannequin in front of it, but um, that was one of them. And another one is this one right here where I have things sitting, my spinning wheel and stuff sitting here. Uh, so that took a little bit more time. And then of course we had to go to the exchange and eventually we did make it back down here. So a four hour round trip turned into like a six hour or better. But so that was another day pretty much disconnected. And with her here, we've just been hanging out and uh, we remodeled my craft room yesterday. So today is Saturday for me. It was Friday. Friday, we went through and remodeled most everything. So my background is different because that entertainment center that was back there is gone. There's now two bookshelves and the corner cabinet and everything is to where I can see what I have. I went through that. I also went through and uh, several totes and gathered up things that will be for sale. So those are throws and afghans and one wrap. Uh, just some things that will be coming up available for sale. Um, that's pretty much it as far as in a nutshell what I've been up to this past week. Now I did get some more bats completed and I'll insert a picture here. Okay, so there was three bags that you've seen. The one bag is what's left of the hand-dyed fiber from Dawn Erin Loving Hands Creations, and that's my part of it. She dyed a bunch of it. I split it down the middle, and I created eight bats for her, and then what's left, I'll create bats for me. And I'll probably turn those into roving, and that way it's easier for, that's how I prefer to spin is from roving versus a bat. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm not quite there yet. I've got a couple of other things that I need to tend to. But, so this was the four bats that I created. I'll insert a couple more pictures. So very fun, very um, interesting colors and, and color schemes. So I did that and I also got a graphite mold come in today. One of two molds came in today. The other one will probably be here on Monday. And I did get to play with it a little bit today prior to recording this. So what did I end up doing? <laughs> I made two beads, two style of beads, because as you can see here, they are different shapes. So I was able to create that bead. And then I created that one. Now, 
that one did pop after it cooled, but holding it together, here it is. And I'll turn it around so you can see the other side. So I think I just created an air bubble in it when I was work tool doing some tooling on it to create this uh, effect here on the sides. So I may have created like a bubble in there and that caused it to pop. But this is the other one that I did. So I've got the finishings on it already and it's good to be a pendant on a choker or it could be a stitch marker if you wanted it to be. But that is it with the finishings and I'll show you the other side. If it'll focus. So there we go. So that was fun. I did two of the styles. I did those two. Now I just need to work on that one and see what I can make with that one. And the bead mold that I got coming on Monday, I'm super excited about. But so that was an acquisition for the lamp working. And I am extremely excited to keep working and making new beads and jewelry and stuff like that. Um, as I have things for sale from that, I will most definitely let you know. And if I ever show jewelry that you might be interested in, please, by all means, reach out and I can let you know whether or not it's for sale. Um, sometimes I just get wrapped up in showing you the really cool glass that I melted and turned into something that I forget whether or not it, you know, to say whether or not it's actually for sale. But that's basically all I've done, um, this week. It's not much. I did get a bag. I don't think you can even see. Nope. You can't see it. It's back behind the cake winder. Um, I did, as I was going through finding different things for sale, I found a bunch of stuff that will be going to K&K &K Crochet, some more beanies and some shawls. And also, I think there was a cowl or two in there. But uh, yeah, I bagged those up. So I have a bunch more to go to her for Bumblebee Mountain Outreach, K&K &K Crochet. And anybody that I talk about during the video will be linked down below. And I encourage you to please go and check them out if you don't know who they are already. And next up, we have a slideshow of everybody's work that was shared in the Facebook group or through a private email. I want to thank each and every one of you for sharing your work with the rest of us. You guys are fantastic. And so I've said before, when I can't and or don't have the gung-ho drive to work on something, it is nice to see y'all's work because I still get that feeling of, so pretty. <laughs> and also I am working on a new beanie pattern crocheted. Um, I am using Premier Everyday Anti-Pilling. And so here is the start of it. Not very far on it. I'm hoping to have it done and recorded and available to you on Monday. And then we'll have lamp working on Tuesday and probably just a stitch tutorial on Wednesday. Uh, my friend Rachel won't be going home until this following Sunday. So yeah, it, I'm trying not to have too much time spent in here working on videos and actually enjoying the time that my friend is actually here. But we will be live again on Thursday, Triple Threat Thursday. So my normal spin and chat time frame, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday. And I'm following Michael and he's following Dawn. So 
that's the standard lineup. Now we do have um, some things going on as far as that might take them away from Thursday night for a week or two. Nothing to be worried about. We're all good. It just, you know, things happen in life and we have to step away every so often. So if you do not see Dawn or you don't see Michael or you don't see myself, no worries. It's just something came up and we just could not do our normal Triple Threat Thursday time slot. And we'll see you either the following week or as soon as we can. So we have a slideshow and then we have the membership credits and the membership credits is whether you actually click the 99 cent join the channel memberships or someone has gifted memberships to you um, during the, uh, the live, sorry. Either which way, your name is in a list as a member. Now, it, if you were gifted one, it only lasts a month, and then it's up to you to either continue it or not. Uh, you're not obligated to, by no means, but it is something that the channel does offer. The 99 cents is basically, you guys get some personalized you know, emojis, personalized to the channel, to play with in the comment section or the chat. And if I'm putting out a members only video or, um, which usually consists of mainly the farm. So any type of like, we just had drone footage uh, that we did of the farm, that type of stuff, uh, early release of videos such as my podcast, uh, also, there might be a member's live every now and again. That's not something I can do scheduled because it is very hard for me to even get one live a week, much less multiple. <laughs> so um, that is all there is to the memberships. But I do have a memberships credit section at the end where I just go and screenshot everybody that is a member and put it in at the very end and it just slideshow all those screenshots of all the amazing people that are here supporting the channel. So thank you so very, very much for being an awesome support to this channel. Whether you're just liking and commenting on videos and watching them from start to finish or you're here for the lives and the lives only. Um, no matter what, I appreciate you and your time. So thank you, each and every one of you. Be blessed, be a blessing, and until next time, bye for now.